rest of the way. What what did you not have in those as that second half went on that made it impossible for you guys to win? I mean, um, you know, we the shots that we usually make, uh, you know. Uh, we were our shots weren't going uh, falling tonight, and you know, and they're a good team. You know, they're at home, and you know, they made a good run. And give credit to them. You know, as I said, they're a really good team, really talented, and you know, we just didn't get the W tonight. You know, really. what, what is it going to take for this team to win a game like this? I mean, I think we have all the pieces. You know, you know we have we were well prepared. You know, we we were practicing well um, leading up to the game. So I was confident in coming in here today and, and, and getting a W, but you know it just didn't go our way. Uh, you know, so it's really just practicing hard and, and just paying attention to the details. So you know, we're gonna get back to that tomorrow and and watch film and see what, what we need to clean up. You like in general the shots that you were getting, or in the huddle were you guys saying that you were taking too many threes? No, I, no, we were we were getting good looks. I mean, everybody, Bruce, Roddy, Jameson. You know, it's just the shots weren't falling uh, tonight in the second half. Um, you know, Felix on the on the old glass. Uh, you know, he was dominant down there. Uh, you know, grabbing rebounds. So that's what we need. And you know, we're just kicking it out. Just shots weren't falling. So you know, we'll be good. We'll be back to practice tomorrow, and you know, get ready for Wisconsin. When shots aren't falling, um, and they go on run like they they really do, what what is being said? What I mean, obviously you can't force shots, mm -hmm. but, but what kind of is said when you guys are in the huddle when it's just you aren't they aren't falling? I mean, first you know we. We tell ourselves, you know, get stops, you know, try to limit their run. And when the shots aren't falling, you know, we just, just, you know, just move on to the next play, you know, and just make the next, the right play, the next, the next one, just move on. So, you know, it's just uh, give credit to them, as I said. They, you know, they're a good team and, you know, they're home. So they, they got to W. We talked to you the other day on Zoom about playing with Felix. Mm -hmm. We saw some of that tonight. How did you feel like it worked in game? I mean, I, I feel like it worked. You know, it's, you know, we were rebounding well out there. You know, I feel like it, it was a um, it was a good thing for us tonight. You know, uh, we got practicing more obviously because we have that was our first time we were with that lineup. But you know, for the first time, you know, I think it went well. Bruce, well, no. on a night when, when shots aren't falling, what did what, what what can be done? If you guys aren't connecting the way that you're used to connecting. Uh, it, it really, it's really hard um, to win games if you're not making shots. At the end of the day. We're we'll scoring more points when, when the, in the um, win the game at the end of the day. But um, as, as a point guard, I take I take responsibility of just holding the team accountable, uh, to make sure we get stops when we really needed it. Um, we had a, um, like had a couple of turnovers at a crucial time that we really that didn't need. But as a team, you just gotta learn. You gotta keep moving forward. Um, I still got confidence in my teammates, even myself, to, to make the next shot, to make the next right play. But we back to the job, but we got we got a big game on Wednesday. That you mentioned the turnovers. Was there something that they were doing? It seemed like you guys lost the ball out of bounds. It just you know had a hard time holding on to the ball tonight. Was there uh, anything different? Uh, give uh, Indiana credit. Uh, at the end of the day, they're, they're a good good team, especially uh, playing at home. They're a real hard team. So uh, their defense did bother us at times. Then also, I feel like um, just some miscues. Um, I feel like uh, we need to be we need to be strong with the ball to have more um, um, ball security, ball, ball security, and just patient the offense. At the end of the day, uh, we just gotta get better and just move on. Um, it's a, it's a bad, um, it's not a, it's not a good loss that we want to have on our record, but we're gonna move on. Mm -hmm. Bruce, how do you kind of respond when like you're taking shots that you think you should be making? You have made those shots throughout your career, but like when do you have to decide like I need to take it inside? Like are we doing something that we need to do to change? What we're doing offensively, or do you kind of just have to shoot through those slumps? Um, those wide open looks, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's like, I'm not making them, really, I gotta shoot them. And I have to have confidence in myself. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just frustrated performance because I just want to win. As I, at the end of the day, don't, no matter if I have zero points or 20 points, I ain't making no shots or I'm making shots. I just want to win at the end of the day. So I just have enough frustration just trying to win. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm gonna go into the gym tomorrow, sit, shoot those same shots, the same rhythm every, every single time because Next, next, next position. Or next time we in position, I'm, I'm going to hit them shots. I just got the confidence in myself, and my teammates and, and my coach that instilled that confidence in me. So next, next shot, I, I shoot. I believe I'm going. Yeah, come, like, come from us, like we don't tell them if you miss the shots, just stop shooting. You know, we know he can hit them shots. So you know, we're not nobody on the bench is like, oh, Bruce is missing. Like we're like, okay, he's open. Like he's gonna knock it down. We like we know we, we all seen that he can hit shots. So you know, it's just an off night. Yeah. So. What's kind of the message right now? in the locker room to you guys? Uh, 
just get better. Uh, you know, come back tomorrow, work at the things we need to work on, watch film, you know, clean up and just get ready. You know, just don't let this one loss, you know, just hold us down and hold us back. You know, just, just get ready for the next opponent because we have a good team, good Wisconsin team coming in on Wednesday. Um, this one, this one definitely a sting, especially me just, you just like, you just understand how important road wins are. You sh you're trying to get the most you possibly can. So understanding that, this this one's gonna stay for a little bit, but tomorrow morning we gotta move on. We got a top 25 team against Wisconsin at home. So I feel like when Washington film clean up, we just move on. That's the best thing you can do. And I'm, I feel like me, me and my guys, I feel like we just ready for the um, challenge on Wednesday. Bruce, the two uh, fouls in the first half, your team seemed to handle you being off out of the game for the last eight minutes or so, but how did that change maybe how you felt or how did that change the flow of the game? Um, I feel like, if I'm on, I'm, when I'm out on the floor, my teammates don't do well. I have, I have all the confidence, the most confidence in my teammates. If I'm out the game, if I'm out the whole game, I feel like they got the job done, and, 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 they, and they did. Um, but just the second half, just they just certain things they go away. Uh, I, I miss one of the looks that I usually make. It's just basketball. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm just keep keep doing what I do. Have faith in my teammates. Have, have faith in my coach staff and the game plan. And I feel like next time this opportunity comes, I feel like. We'll, be there. we'll come on top. Is, is that just sort of the overall message from this game? Did you guys like the looks that you got? You felt like you got open shots and they just didn't fall, and that's the difference in this? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. we just grabbed it, we out rebounded them. So, you know, we was working on the offensive glass. You know, we kicked it out, and, you know, and we want them to shoot them shots, you know, because on the offensive rebound, everyone's, everyone's scrambling. So, you know, we tell them to shoot it, you know, if you open shoot it. So, it just wasn't falling tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just it's different. It just it's a difference when you make shots and when you miss shots. You know what I'm saying? Just the ebb and flow in the game, especially me being away because you hit a big shot, silence the crowd. Now you just it's just a whole different ball game. But it's, it's all it's all good. It's basketball at the end of the day. If we miss shot, make shot, we still gotta get stops and we still gotta try to get the win at the end of the day. Bruce, when you aren't making shots like that, how much more important does the defensive end become? I know you mentioned that. Uh, ten times more important because we're not we're not scoring, and the whole objective of basketball is to score. So like, so you being you know defense, you gotta be locked in even more because the shots not might be falling not for the like for your fifth possession like you haven't scored, so you gotta keep getting stops. You, know, you have to trust in your offense, just let your defense be your offense at the end of the day. But I feel like when we watch over the film, you know, we all gonna be on the same page next time we in this situation because there's no guarantee that I'm gonna make the rest of my shots for the rest of the year. But we know whenever we're in the situation, we know we got to lock in more on the defensive end, uh, limit our turnovers, and I feel like we'll be all right. Time for one more. Uh, you said their, their interior defense, uh, how did that test you guys? Like you said you got rebounded by 20. But like when you're when the shots aren't falling from outside, what made it difficult to try to put some of those, those rebounds back up and, and get some paint touches and paint buckets? I mean, they have a footer down there, you know, where you know, he's really athletic, he's a rim protector, he's a really good player, and you know, with alternate shots. So, you know, he's, he's a seven footer, so you know, he, he can be tough, you know, just to shoot it because he's gonna block it. <laughs> so, you know, it's definitely, he's, he's a really good rim protector, and he's a really good player. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.